Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar where we will be discussing post-cardiac arrest care. If an individual has a return of spontaneous circulation or ROSC, start post-cardiac arrest care immediately. The initial BLS ACLS processes are meant to save an individual's life, while post-cardiac arrest care is meant to optimize ventilation and circulation, preserve heart and brain tissue function, and maintain recommended blood glucose levels. For blood pressure support and vasopressors, consider blood pressure support in any individual with systolic blood pressure less than 90 milligrams or mil, excuse me, milliliters of mercury or mercury, or mean arterial pressure or MAP less than 65. Unless contraindicated, one to two liters of IV saline or lactated ringers is the first intervention. When blood pressure is very low, consider vasopressors. If there is no advanced airway, 30 to 2 compression to ventilation ratio. Epinephrine is the presser of choice for individuals who are not in cardiac arrest. Dopamine, phen phenylephrine, and methoxamine are alternatives to epinephrine. And naprinephrine is generally reserved to, for severe hypotension or as a last line agent. Titrate the infusion rate to maintain the desired blood pressure. For hypothermia is the only documented intervention that improves or enhances brain recovery after cardiac arrest. It can be performed in an unresponsive individuals and should be continued for at least 24 hours. The goal of induced hypothermia is to maintain a core body temperature between 89.6 to 93.2 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 to 36 degrees Celsius. Device manufacturers have developed several in innovative technologies that improve the ability to affect and manage hypothermia in the post-arrest individual. Hypothermia should be induced and monitored by trained professionals. Induced hypothermia should not affect the decision to perform percutaneous coronary intervention or PCI because concurrent PCI and hypothermia are reported to be feasible and safe. Don't forget we offer online ACLS certification on our site. You can find a link in the description. We encourage you to become certified as soon as possible, whether that be on your own time with an online course or in an in-classroom setting. So thank you so much for tuning into today's webinar. We will catch you next time.